In recent months, Nigeria has experienced a notable increase in food prices, particularly affecting perishable items such as tomatoes and peppers. While many reports have attributed the scarcity and high cost to insecurity in some states, others explain that the situation has worsened due to the rainy season. As prices of fresh tomatoes and peppers skyrocket, many Nigerian households have devised means to cope with the situation by using alternatives like tin tomato, onion, cucumber, and locust beans in their cooking. However, nutrition experts have advised citizens to be wary of adulterated alternatives and harmful concussions. To gain further insight, Voice of the People visited My 12th Market, a prominent hub for fresh produce in Lagos. There, we engage with buyers and sellers to understand the direct impact of rising tomato and pepper prices on their daily transactions. The situation where we did in Nigeria, anything they cost, our market down plenty, but they make it cost. Anything the way they bring it here, it they cost money for transport, money for bringing we doing work, all of uh, labor with the pay for expenses. In. Then we the sell last year this thing like. 35, 45, 57. But today, this year, we the seller 90, 95, 87 with the seller. They are making market cost. I'm making a try. I came to buy tomatoes and pepper. Honestly, what we are seeing now is nothing to write home about. We are buying pepper, tomato at the age of 90,000 naira. I came to market with 200,000 naira. I couldn't buy anything. Look at pepper, look at tomato, 5,000 naira. How much are we making? And every time they will complain, the market is cost and market, they should know what to do. We are suffering. Aja won, Rodo 150, 120, Tumati gone won, Bongo Nkolo won, Ati Jati Raja gone wala, Kaba ko 50,000 Raja, Koto wa Raja. So, Kolo Nko Shanu won, you have to Nigeria. Eto, na transport, na hi de chop money too much. Because of, if you say for na for not they carry on come drum for for this market, market say you know they come they come. If you say na for not they carry on come, market they cheap. So, but this now now from Cameroon we carry on come drum for. Because of transport, na he they chop money because of market don't cost. These buyers and sellers also urge the government at all levels to address high inflation, food insecurity, and other associated challenges that are weighing the people down. Government is about to reduce <laughs> money for fuel. She is better make she think about fertilizer. Now the problem where you make everybody enter this wala now for Nigeria. Fuel now costs everything. Immediately when they reduce money for fuel, everything will come down. Ki do ba sa nu wa. Ko sa nu wa ko jo tori Olorun le le 100,000. E jo tori Olorun. E da ku. Government just help us. If it, if it is the fuel that is the cause of it, they should help us to do something. If it is the people that is importing the goods, they should just help us to monitor the situation. We need the government to to help us to to do security for Anyway, as we have heard from traders and buyers alike that the rising prices of tomatoes and pepper continue to challenge many Nigerian households, it is now clear that the government must work together to involve citizens in finding sustainable solutions to the rising food inflation in Nigeria. Matthew Ogunsuara, reporting for Voice of the People TV.